In this video, we'll discuss the fact that if two operators have the same eigenfunctions, then they, are com then they commute with one another. So as I said, we have an operator A and operator B. Uh, each of those is going to have eigenfunctions, so A acting on function N gives AN times N. So same function on both sides, and this is a constant value. For B, we have B acting on N gives the eigenvalue BN for the same eigenfunction n. There's a set of those which constitute the eigenfunctions of a and b. So if we have some function f, which we represent as a linear combination or a superposition of these different eigenfunctions, a sum over all n of cn times n, this uh, Dirac ket vector n representing some eigenfunction of a and b, so let's have our commutator of a and b act on function f. <clears throat> so this will be a sum from over all values of n of the commutator acting on basis function n, which is an eigenfunction of both of them. So a sum over all n of a b minus b a acting on n. So we can factor, we can distribute this a b minus b a. We have the sum over all n a b acting on n minus b a acting on n. So the innermost operator acts first, so we have b act on n, which gives us little b n n, so we can factor that out. Now we have b n a n. Over here a is acting first, so a acting on n gives little a n n. Factor out little a n, now you have a n b n. Now the other operator takes its turn. a acting on n gives a n, b acting on n gives b n. So we have b n a n times n minus a n b n times n. Notice that a and b are both scalar values. Uh, multiplication of scalar values is commutative. So when we factor this out, we have a n b n minus a n b n, which is equal to b n a n. So this value in parentheses here is equal to zero. And this is zero for all values of n. So this is sum over all n, 0 acting on n, which is equ equivalent to the 0 operator. The 0 operator acting on f gives us something which has a coefficient of 0 on every single basis function. So this means that the operator, which is the commutator of a and b, is equivalent to a 0 operator, meaning that the commutator of a and b is 0, meaning that a and b commute with one another. So when operators commute, they have the same set of eigenfunctions and vice versa. When operators have a common set of eigenfunctions, they commute with one another. So as we showed for momentum and position in the same dimensions, those do not commute with one another. So position and momentum have different eigenfunctions. And this is the source of why we cannot measure them both exactly and simultaneously, because they have different eigenfunctions a measurement constitutes measuring a specific eigenvalue of an eigenfunction of that operator. So if they need different eigenfunctions to get their operators, they need the, the states don't work, things don't overlap correctly, and we get an uncertainty relationship because they have these different eigenfunctions giving us different eigenvalues that they measure as a result.